All right. <laughs> so, uh, hello again. Uh, there's no one watching the stream right now, but uh, if you might be watching this later on YouTube, I'll probably put like some sort of. Uh, oh yeah, that's my that's my squeaky fart chair, by the way. Uh, but uh, uh, it's not it's not actually intended to be like that. It's just a very squeaky chair. Uh, so. My last, my last stream was uh, Mario 2, and uh, it was, and most of everything was fine for, for most of it, uh, but, like, towards the end, like, in the last world, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go take a break and get water real quick, uh, and I did that, and I came back, and I, th I don't know how this happened, because I thought for sure, I, because I, I, had the, uh, I had the game muted, and I had my mic muted. So when I came back, I thought that I had unmuted both of them, but somehow I had overlooked the fact that my I never actually unmuted my mic. So I was still playing the game, and like no one in the chat was like telling like I had people watching, but like no one in the chat was telling me that they couldn't hear me. So <laughs> I don't know like whether they were like new people that just weren't expecting any sort of commentary, or whether it was like other people that just like i guess didn't question why there wasn't commentary uh but yeah the entire last part of my uh my my mario 2 uh playthrough after that uh after that uh, is totally silent outside of the game uh so i was telling everyone that was watching the stream i was like uh, uh thanks you know thanks you guys for watching you know stick around i'm gonna start mario 3 uh, I hope you enjoyed it so f like this playthrough so far, uh, and uh, I'll start Mario three in a few minutes. And then I went back and watched the the, the VOD of uh, the Mario two, and I realized that there was no commentary. So to them, it was just like I beat the game, and then I spent like a few minutes just staring at the end screen, and then just and then it just ended. So, uh, in case. Uh, in case you're one of those people that were there, uh, that that that's what happened. Uh, I just I, somehow, some way, my mic stayed muted, even though I I I'm I'm fairly certain that I clicked to unmute it, but I guess I just like something happened. I didn't I didn't click it like in the right spot or whatever, and like it just stayed muted, and I didn't notice. Uh, but yeah, the last part of that playthrough is silent, which sucks because I think there was like, I mean. Not not to not to say that my commentary is is hilarious or ridiculously entertaining, but uh, I I at least would have liked it to just be, you know, uniform commentary all around instead of just having that one weird moment of silence. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo that just because it's you know that the rest of that playthrough is fine and that's just kind of the very end of it. So. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start Mario 3 now, and hopefully, uh, I'm able to keep a closer eye on, on things in order to make sure that it's all good. So, real quick, I'm just gonna, alright, I'm gonna start the game. Uh, oh yeah, the, uh, I forgot the NES version of this game doesn't have title screen music. Which is a little weird, because Mario 2 has title screen music, and they added title screen music to other versions. So maybe it was supposed to, and they just never added it i have no idea uh but this game may it's sort of tied with mario world i like mario world a little bit better just because of the uh the art style uh and the the uh the sound design in that game and the music <laughs> just I, I like a lot of things in mario world marginally better but this is this is pretty much tied with mario world for my favorite uh classic mario side scroller uh it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty spectacular game uh so uh i'm gonna i don't know how far i'm gonna get into it today uh and i don't actually i'm not familiar with most of the uh I, i've been trying to use warp zones just so that we can get through these games fast uh so let me just look up real quick because i know mario 3 has the warp whistle um so let me just real quick. Hmm. 
Okay, the first warp, warp whistle. <laughs> okay, it's in stage one three, so I'll worry about that when I get to it. But let's go ahead and get started so I can actually test the audio. God, I love this map music. It was my, uh, this map music was my, uh, was my ringtone for a while and my alarm, but then I got sick of it, so I changed it. Okay. So, okay, audio sounds good. All right. Uh, let's, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just jump into it. <laughs> uh, so I actually grew up with the, uh, I said, I mentioned this, well, actually, I mentioned this in the Mario 2 stream, but I think I was, it was something that I said while I was muted, uh, but I actually grew up with the, uh, the Game Boy Advance version. Wait, what? That was, that should have hit the block. I guess it was just, like, a little bit too off to the side. Um, but, yeah, I actually grew up with the, uh, the Game Boy Advance version of this game, the Mario Advance version. Uh, and that's the same version of, uh, I, I also played the Mario Advance versions of Yoshi's Island and, uh, Mario World. I never played the, uh, the advanced version of Mario 2. I just sort of always played that original version on Virtual Console. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this, uh, as much as I love this game, it's just, I am, I've always been sort of, like, you know, people tend to, like, not like the, uh, the voice clips or whatever in the, uh, the, uh, the Game Boy version, but I always thought they were, just because that's the version I grew up with, it's always just been a part of the game for me, so it just adds, like, a certain charm to it, uh, and also, as, I, like, I love the, uh, the visuals in this game, I think this is, this looks great for, uh, an NES game, especially, like, coming after, you know, like, Mario, Mario 1 and 2, um, but yeah, just, I, something about the, uh, the Game Boy visuals just sort of stuck with me, I guess. That's just just for nostalgia's sake. Uh, so I don't think, since this game is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to uh, lives, I don't think, I, I think when you get a game over in this game, you just uh, go back to the beginning of the world, which still isn't ideal, but I think I'm still gonna do the thing I've been doing, where I, uh, I just create, I'll create a save point every time I finish a level, just so that I don't have to redo levels over and over again, uh, and that way the playthrough isn't longer than it needs to be. Okay, oh, sh okay, that actually sort of helped me. Yeah, as, as hard as this game can get, I feel like it's generally... I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's just the fact that it's further along in the series. But I feel I feel like I have a better... And also just the fact that I grew up with it. But I feel like I have a better grasp on this game uh, than I do on games like The Lost Levels or 2. Because I've only beaten 2 once. Uh, well, actually twice now, I guess, if you count the time that I just beat it. Um, oh, I've already been playing this game a little bit. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I've I've I, I've I've played this game a fair few times. I think I've only made it to the end once, but I've played the beginning portions of it a fair few times. Okay, so now now that I'm here, I gotta go ahead and uh, watch the uh, the warp whistle video on how to do it because okay, so playthrough. I would you I would usually use the um, the, uh, the, the secret way initially, like the one with the bouncy music note. Oh, I guess you can actually still use it. Oh, that is weird. I don't know how anyone would figure that out. <laughs> I don't know how anyone would figure that out if, if you were just playing this game, like... Okay. Alright. Honestly, I don't even really want to use the warp whistle. Because, like... The other games, I don't know what it is about about them. I just feel like they're more so like, you know, like, you gotta beat it in one go and warp zones are a means to that end. 
but I feel like this is sort of closer to the modern one, so I almost just want to play through this game normally. Unless, like, I can look up, like, how it... Because I've never actually used the Warp Whistle before, so... Warp Whistle Mario 3... Okay, so Okay, so I guess you can use the warp whistle whenever you want I Think I'm just gonna play through world one like normal Just because I, I it's I, I'm nostalgic for it and I want to I want to experience it again <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing these games for my own enjoyment. Oh God I think it's like, you know, Mario games are, have always been, like, famous for, like, uh, teaching, like, you know, like, M World 1-1 one, one of Mario 1 especially is, like, famous for, like, uh, teaching the player about, like, certain things using level design. Ugh. Like, the first Goomba, uh, you know, you're kind of just, like, you're on a track to hit it. And, like, the mushroom is, like, hard to avoid, but you can, once it touches you, you can tell that it's good. Uh, and I feel like in the first level of this game, they kind of do that, too, because, uh, you, uh, you know, the mushroom, I, th I think it's just, like, there's a, there's a chance it'll do this. Oh, shit. You can still get hit by enemies? Okay, never mind. Um, but, oh, God, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like, the the fact that the mushroom a lot of times initially goes to the left sort of teaches you that you can go backwards in this game, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, I got the warp whistle, but I'm gonna play through World 1, just because it holds a special place in my heart. It's content, okay, yeah, give me the thing. Cool! Alright, uh, how do I access my items again? Weird that it's the X button, because this is an NES game, and NES NES controllers don't have X buttons, so I don't know what the equivalent would be. I think I can just. I don't think I have to do level four at all. Eh, fuck it. Might as well. We're just we're just having a good time here. <laughs> I really hope that the people that were in the last stream are like. I don't know. If they weren't followers, then, then you know, it makes sense that they probably wouldn't come back because they wouldn't get notified that I'm streaming again, but, like, I, I don't know. I just hope that, like, they didn't think that I was just, like, I came back and just didn't say anything the whole time. Because, like, you know, I don't want to, like, it, w it was a mistake, and I was only able to explain that mistake after I realized that it had happened because no one in the chat was telling me they couldn't hear me. So... <laughs> I just, I, I just hope that, uh, they don't think, if they were watching the streams before, I hope they don't think that, like, I just came back and just, I just saw something I wasn't meant to see, and just was so shocked that I just finished the game in total silence. I don't think that's a thing that's ever happened to me before, where I just, I accidentally mute myself for an entire portion of a stream. Star, um, uh, come on, man. I guess that's fine. Wait a minute. I've beaten four levels. Oh, one of them I got the warp whistle, right. I was thinking, uh, like, you know, why did I only have three cards if I completed four levels? But it's because, uh, it's because I used, I got the warp whistle at the end of one of them. Ooh. You don't get anything for that, but <laughs> that's 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 okay. I feel like oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. I I needed the the tanuki to do the secret. Oh, actually, maybe I can just yeah. I'll just do that, and then I've actually I should have been creating save points since. I mean, again, you know, this game is more forgiving with extra lives, but, uh, 
I probably should have been uh, creating restore points after I beat the levels. Um, okay, where's the where's the area where I can do it? The, the, I know there's a secret, but I don't fully remember what it is or what it leads to. I think it's up here. Yeah, is there like a s secret e exit? I know there's a secret over there. Maybe I need to be higher. I don't know, maybe there isn't one. <laughs> maybe I'm just being stupid. But I remember there being something up there. Oh shit. <laughs> God, I just... The fact that, like, I kind of had, like... I'm trying. I'm thinking about this a lot, revisiting this, like these games, these older games. Uh, just thinking about uh, the way that people must have reacted to them at the time, because Mario, when Mario first came into my life, it was kind of just like an all at once thing. Like I didn't sort of, I didn't really watch the evolution of the games too much. Uh, it was just sort of, you know, I, I found out about Mario because my friends. Uh, came over to my house, and one of them had a DS uh, with Mario 64 DS, and the other one had a, a, a Game Boy Advance SP with Mario World on it. Uh, so that was sort of my introduction to Mario, so I was introduced to the side-scrollers and the 3D games at the same time. And they all just, they weren't still like, you know, in the, they weren't still like super new things, but they were new to me, and they were all just sort of there from the beginning. Like, I don't remember like a time gap between like, getting Mario 3 and Yoshi's Island and Mario World. I do remember there being a gap between when I got 64 uh, DS. I got because I got the D I played the DS version of that game first. Uh, but uh, it was never really sort of a matter of evolution, but I can only like imagine like, you know, being someone in the 80s. Uh, well, I guess now maybe it was the early 90s when this game came out. No, I think it was like 1989. I gotta, I gotta fact check myself. Um, so Mario Bros. 3. Uh. Okay, so it came out in, it came out in 1990 in North America. Uh. But it came out, it came out in Japan before that. But like, you know, this is on the same system as Mario 1. So like, I can just imagine being like, a gamer during that time period. And just like, you know, it's such, even without the Super Nintendo, it's just such a drastic jump to go from Mario 1 to this game on the same system, you know? It's like the most we've gotten since then is like Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2, and they're pretty much, you know, the same game with different levels. So, it's just, it's, it's interesting to think about in terms of when hardware was more primitive. Uh, but I sort of... You know, I jump, I jumped into Mario at the deep end, and I like, I got a, I got a Game Boy Advance SP with those with Mario, Mario Three, Mario World, and Yoshi's Island, uh, and I love all those games, uh, and I, I, I was just always Mario was always sort of a portable thing for me because I was always more of a PlayStation person, but it wasn't really like a conscious decision because I was, I was young. Uh, we just had a PlayStation because my dad got a PlayStation. Uh, so I was really into, like, Crash Bandicoot and stuff. Uh, and then Mario was, like, the thing I would play on handheld. So, like, I played, I played, uh, uh, those, the remakes of the classic games. I played all the, the Mario Advance games, except for the first one. Uh, and I played Mario 64 DS, uh, which was amazing. Uh, and still one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, and... Uh, I played uh, New Super Mario Brothers, uh, but I wasn't ever really aware of the earlier versions of these games or the console Marios until I got a Wii and I got Mario Galaxy. And, uh, you know, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know that it's my favorite game of all time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just sort of, I, I've had, I've had, I feel like I've had my own Mario experience that's different than a lot of people's, like, you know, people that grew up with the original Marios. I still grew up with Mario, but it wasn't, like, you know... I guess it sort of was an evolution, 
to go from like 64 DS to uh, to Galaxy, but it just sort of it it felt like a natural progression, uh, and it's like I don't remember it being like I remember it being like super exciting and like you know like mind blowing about all like the ga the the gravity stuff. Uh, but, you know, there was, it was, like, you know, it did look similar to 64DS, just on the Wii. Uh, and, you know, obviously it looked better, but, like, you know, the characters have sort of become the characters, the versions of the characters that they would be forever. So, it's like, you know, I feel like it's a totally different experience just to, uh, to go from Mario 1 to Mario 3, and then, like, especially from, like, you know, the side-scrollers to 64. I feel like is like a massive leap but I was just kind of introduced to them all at the same time and I have a special love for all of them I feel like sunshine is probably like one of the only ones I can say like I do have somewhat of a nostalgic connection to it in fact I think the that was the first time I ever watched like a YouTube let's play was uh, watching Chugga Conroy play through uh, Mario Sunshine and that's kind of how I found out about that game and how I how I uh, found out about people playing games on YouTube uh, but yeah that's the one that I, I I just never really I did play it when I was younger uh, but I don't feel like I have as much of a connection to it as I do the other ones uh, at least up to up to galaxy 2 so that's that's that that's might be the end of my my long ramble about the Mario series, but I don't know. I just I just like talking about it, man. A letter from the princess. Okay. It's oh yeah, this is back when she was still called Princess Toadstool because for some reason they didn't want to call her Peach in North America. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Oh, it's the pee wing. Okay, now, because, all right, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the warp whistle. Oh, shit! The warp, the warp whistle takes you here if you do it from, oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, like, the other games... I didn't feel that bad about skipping through certain portions because I just I wasn't very familiar with them. They don't I feel like every Mario game just sort of feels more like an adventure. And I feel like we're just like, you know, if we're skipping levels in this one, we're just missing out. I don't know, man. I don't want to skip. I don't want to finish this game that fast. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh man. Uh god. Okay, I'm going to look up which world has a uh, tiny huge island. Or no, that's the Mario 64 one. Whichever one has like the big, the big characters, because I want to play that level. And if, if it's in worlds, if it's in any of these, I'll warp to the one and then just go from there. But I don't want to skip this entire game. I love this game. And it just, I, I don't want to, uh, you could get through this game so fast. Jeez. Okay, Super Mario 3, big world. <laughs> Giant land. Okay, where? Which world is it? It's world four. Fuck, dude. No, I wanted to play through Giant Land. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I mean, I guess I could just. I mean, I can't probably rewind anymore. I think I've spent enough time on this, this specific uh, area. To where it's just, uh, I don't know, man. I'm very conflicted about this. I guess we'll just, uh, let's think. <laughs> I don't want to sit on this stage select for very long. Okay, I think, I think what I'll do, I'll go to World 7, and I'll just, I'll just beat the game. And then I'll go back, and I'll get the warp whistle in World 1 again. And then I'll just go back and do Tiny Huge World or whatever. 
Okay, where does this go? Does this go to the, uh, the toad house? Jeez, I did not, it n did not occur to me that you could play through this game that fast. And like, I, I, I because I thought World 1, if you take the warp whistle, it just, I guess it just takes you to the top row. And I guess if you use it after that, you can just skip the whole game. <laughs> Yeah, but I want I want to see that big world. So we're gonna do this game a little bit out of order, I guess. I've always loved pipe-based levels in Mario, and like underground levels that aren't just the standard cave underground levels. I don't know. I, I just I always like the idea of traversal through pipes. That's another. That's something I really like about um, Mario 3D World. Is that uh, the the clear pipes? I feel like add a lot to the game, and I'm glad they're in Mario Maker. Um, but yeah, I mean, just le just levels like this, I always really like. There's a level in um, there's levels like this in New Super Mario Brothers One, uh, but there's also like a there's like a multiplayer map uh, for like the competitive multiplayer mode uh, that's like pipes, and that's that's one of the more uh, that whole multiplayer mode is like. One of the more memorable Mario multiplayer modes to me, um, but uh, that level is always the one that stuck out to me out of all of them. I should have thrown that Koopa shell in the other direction. No. Oh. Whoa! I did not realize I was gonna go that high. Oh, there's no checkpoints? I should probably... I, I feel like I need to be creating save points. But I have more lives than I've had in either of the other ones so far. Or I guess... I guess technically three games. But I, so, I sort of grouped together Lost Levels in Mario 1. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could have just warped back here if I wanted to go back to World 1. <laughs> uh, but maybe, maybe I'll do that... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll warp back there after we beat this game. Ah, okay. Just took a just took a sip of water. If you, <laughs> I know that probably sounds a little bit weird with no context, but. Both times I've streamed so far for this, I've forgotten to take a cup of water uh, to my streaming area with me initially. So I've always had to just take a break and get water in the middle of it. Uh, so <laughs> the second half of the, the playthrough contains more slurpage than the, uh, the first half. Okay, so this, I know this block has a, uh, oh God, okay. Ah oh, man, this game is so fun. This playing this game just makes me happy. <laughs> this this like like this Mario Mario One is like it's fun, uh, but you know the levels don't really have too much variety in terms of visuals and like I don't have as much of a nostalgic connection to it. I I played it when I was younger, but it was like you know it was never the most impressive of the Mario's, uh, and I'm sure you know. It, it, it's an impressive game for its, the time that it came out. It, it was revolutionary. Uh, but, you know, that game, Lost Levels and Mario 2, all got to the point where I was just, like, becoming, like, frustrated. Um, but <laughs> this this game is just making me so happy, man. I just, I love playing this game. This is, this is, the, this is the, the sort of mood I was going for from the beginning <laughs> when I decided to stream the Mario games. Okay, wait a second. Oh, okay, so this is, the, the, those are two different pipes. See, this is another thing that's like, you know, every Mario sort of feels more like an adventure than the last one. Because like, you know, it, there's a world map connected by pipes, but then you actually go to like a little 2D level to go in between the worlds. Like, that's cool. And it makes it, makes it feel more like a world instead of just like a series of levels. And of course, you know, like, 
it, it feels more and more like that with every Mario until we get to like the 3D Land era and like the new Super Mario Brothers era. But still, at, like you know, com especially like with this compared to like the older ones, like Mario Mario One and Two. Like, oh shit, these guys are from Yoshi's Island. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even remember that they were in this game. They, they never really, I mean, they haven't really, I think they used them, like, in some of the newer Yoshi games. I, nev I never finished Crafted World just because I, I got bored. Uh, but I remember they were in Woolly World. Uh, okay, let's see. But I never knew they originated here. And it's weird that they're not in any, uh, any other Mario games, but they're in the Yoshi games. They always seem to, like carry over the most iconic enemies and not like you know they don't need to carry over every single enemy but like if they are oh shit i shouldn't have uh shouldn't have been breaking those blocks uh but if they were going to they they usually focus on the most the more iconic ones like the shy guys and bomb bombs and that sort of thing ba bombs bomb bombs one of the only things that sets apart the, the mario movie as part of the mario universe it is, like, weird to me, thinking about the Mario movie, because this, you know, Mario started to emerge into other forms of media around the time Mario 2, I guess, was coming, was, was coming out. So, like, you know, the TV show was heavily based on 2, and, like, uh... <sighs> Like you know, they made they made like <laughs> they made like the comics and like they made the TV shows based on three and world. Uh, it's just weird to me how much that movie differentiated from it when it already was at a point where it had so much it could work with in terms of like worlds and stories and that sort of thing. I mean, you know, Princess Peach being kidnapped isn't much of a story, but like you know, you could turn like. Something like the Mario 3, like, the kings of each kingdom, like, being turned into animals and stuff. And the Koopalings are, like, invading the kingdom. Like, you can turn that into a story. Like, like I don't know why you need freaking Dino Hatton and all that all that junk in, in your Mario movie. <laughs> I still, regardless of that, though, I still think it's, it's a memorable experience in its own right. Uh... And I, it's 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 a very it's a very strange movie, and given the choice between having that and having just a spectacular Mario movie that's closer to the source material, I would pick the latter. But there's just I don't know. There's just a certain charm to how how bizarre the original Mario movie is. That's just oh, you know it's it's just it's just got something special to it, you know. <laughs> And it, it's 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 just cool that something like that exists. But I, I you know, it did start the whole freaking video game movie curse. So, oh no, no, I was supposed to be invincible. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. You kill all those guys anyway. What the? This is like the same area. It's like the same thing twice. This isn't gonna be one of those. Okay. What? You can't. What? All right. I guess if I get the star, then then I gotta go through that as fast as possible. But I thought that was gonna be. At first, I thought it was gonna be one of those levels that like you have to uh, you have to uh, find the right path through it, or you can't make it. Oh, I guess you can't. Uh... Well, maybe you can, but I don't know why I wouldn't have. Uh... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> is there, like, a 50-50... Oh, jeez. Is there, like, a 50-50 chance of, like, the the mushroom going to the left or to the right? Because it's always... Like I said before, it's, like, you know, it's a cool way to demonstrate that you can go backwards. But, you know, any other time, because the level is scrolling to the right, it's more of an inconvenience. Because it's not going in the same direction that you are. And a lot of times it just goes straight into, like, pits and stuff. Okay. 
at least I know there's no... Oh! <laughs> that was pretty perfectly aimed. Okay, I only have one life left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and load the restore point. To give me back some of my mojo. Come on! It wouldn't even be that bad if, like... The, those question blocks had a had a mushroom in them or something, something to power me up from from small boy size. Okay, what the heck? Why are they even on the slope if you can't slide down and kill them with your butt? All right, just jump. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is this might be around the point where I start losing the mojo. But I'm still I'm still yawning. And I'm still having a really good time. I really like this game. This is one of my one of my tops in terms of Mario's. I'd say I, I've tried to make a tier list before, but for some reason the, the tier maker website just wasn't working when I tried. Alright, I'm gonna reload the... But, um, my Mario list, I guess, as it were, would be uh, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 3, World, and 64 DS at the top. Uh, and 64 and 64 DS are sort of interchangeable to me, but if I were to play one or the other, I usually would rather play DS because of the extra content. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I, that was the one that I grew up playing, so I'm kind of used to the way it controls, and I don't really mind that it, you have to control it with a D-pad, which is, seems to be a lot of people's main problem with that game. Uh, but those are those are sort of my 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 favorite Mario games. So I think Galaxy is my th favorite 3D game. Uh, and then 64 DS is underneath it, uh, and then you have, um, I mean, that's mostly based on, like, nostalgia, because Odyssey is, is up there, too. Um, it's really hard. The Mario games are so good. <laughs> there's so many, there's so many just masterpieces that it's hard to, to, to decide your favorite. Uh, but, <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning so much today. And especially now. Like, maybe it's just because I've been talking a lot. But, I th I'd say, so, so 64 DS, and, oh, is this, wait, is this, is this one of the games where I can steal his cloud? Because I would like to do that. Nope. That's okay. Um, but, like, you know, my most nostalgic ones are, like, World uh, 3, 64 DS, and Galaxy, uh, I I kind of feel like Odyssey is probably the best 3D game, like nostalgia removed, because it just it feels the best to control, and you have so much freedom in your move set, and like it just you know, and the levels in that game are like really creative, uh, like you know, it's especially after like you know 3D World and Land have like. They all have like creative moments, but you sort of feel like during that era with like the new Super Mario Brothers and the 3D World games that things started to get stale a little bit in terms of like, you know, like the grassland, desert land, whatever. And even though Odyssey does have a lot of those same places, it's like it shakes it up enough uh, to the point where it's like, you know, something different. Like, and you know, there's never been like a food world in Mario as far as I remember. Uh, there's never been like... Uh, you know, like the like you know, like that multicolored sort of thing. The with the food world going on, the polygonal stuff. Uh, there's never been like a city level. Oh my god, he's tiny. <laughs> um, there's never really you know, it's just of and like you know stuff with like it's it's sort of like a spoiler I guess, but you know the game's old enough to where I feel like we can talk about it now. Uh, but you know. The whole, like, dragon fight and the last, like, the Japanese temple world. It just feels like it's a step up in terms of creativity for the Mario games. That reminiscent of, like, when the older games were newer. 
so I feel like it fits in better with those. But I also just feel like it's probably the best one because it is, like, you know, it has that going for it, and the music is amazing, and the, like, it feels amazing to control. Uh, oh, this is like a Mario Brothers, like, original Mario Brothers looking level. Uh, but yeah, Odyssey is up there in terms of my favorites. Uh, it's not, it's, you know, obviously I don't have the same nostalgic connection as I do to the other ones, but that's because it came out, like, two years ago. <laughs> two or three years ago, I guess. Uh, and, but I would still put it, like, near the top of my list. And I would say, on the lower end, like, these are, they're not games that I don't like, but they're games that just, like, I don't return to as often are probably, like, Mario 1, Lost Levels, and 2. Um, oh god, what am I supposed to do here? It's 1, Lost Levels, and 2, and Sunshine. I, re I, I go back to Sunshine every now and then because I really like how that game controls do. Uh, oh wait, you, these are the kind of blocks you can grab. <laughs> I forgot about that. Shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what other Mario games I'm forgetting. I don't go back to 3D Land and 3D World that often, but I still really like those games. And, like, those games are sort of, like... I think I mentioned this before in one of my other streams. But those games just sort of remind me of Christmas time. Because those games... I, I think 3D Land came out about that time. I know for sure 3D World did. Uh, but, like, you know, Mario games tend to come out around the holiday season. Because they're, like, the big holiday games. Uh... So I always just remember, like, you know, the whole, like, it's Christmas time and, like, you know, there's a new Mario game to play and it's just really exciting. Uh, and sometimes there's even a new Nintendo system. Uh, but, like, you know, Odyssey came out, like, towards the end of the year when it came out. Uh, it's just that, it's that sort of thing where, like, you know, I play those games and I'm reminded of that time period and, like, what my first experience was like playing it. And I, I even get that way about the newer games, but it's still, it's still pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, in terms of, I'm, I'm less so nostalgic for the, the new Super Mario Brothers games after the first one. Because the first one was, like, you know, it was, like, the first, I don't want to say the first of its kind, because, you know, it is very much a throwback to classic Mario, uh, but it was the first in that series, and it after not having a side-scroller for a long time, it did feel like a breath of fresh air. Uh, even though, you know, I didn't play it very long after getting into the uh, the other Mario side-scrollers. Uh, but, you know, then, you know, you have Wii and 2 and U, and just, they all just sort of, you know... I, I There isn't really much that's about each specific game that's memorable. There's stuff that's memorable about the first New Super Mario Brothers. But that's because that game did all that stuff first. Uh, and then I think the last one that's really memorable out of those for me is Wii. Uh, just because that was the first time you could play with four players. So I remember playing, like, Coin Battle and playing, like, the Mario Brothers-inspired stage. Uh, and that was always really cool. Uh, but, yeah, 2 and U, just, like, as much as you... As much as they're both good games, and as much as they both did enough to differentiate themselves i just feel like there isn't something special truly special about them that like makes you go like oh yeah you know like new super mario brothers u is my favorite mario you know like it's typically like re reserved for games like like 64 and, and even like odyssey like in terms of like the newer games and like you know i know people that uh, well, I don't know personally people, but, like, you know, I've heard people say, uh, a fair few times that 3D World is their favorite. Uh, and even though, even though that's not, like, you know, one of my favorites, it's still, like, sort of, it, it, it does enough, like, in terms of creativity and, like, new levels and that sort of thing to, to feel like it's earned, like, that sort of thing is earned in terms of, like, oh, yeah, that, like, you know, you go back to the game, you still feel something special about it. Whereas I feel like, I almost feel like New Super Mario Bros. 2 and you sort of go back to, um, the, uh, the feeling of, like, Mario 1 and Mario 2, where it's just, like, 
you know, a bunch of obstacles until you get to the castle and then the game is over. Um, oh, this stays? I never realized that, like... Wow. Okay. I never realized that, like, when you do this, the, the ones that you've already gotten stay put. I guess just because I've never... I don't really play through this... I've, ne I've only really played through this game uh, in its entirety, like, a couple times. Well, maybe even once, but I I've played a lot of it uh, several times before. Okay. Oh, a frog suit! That's, I'm very glad that's in Mario Maker 2 also. I was, I was kind of, when I was saying I was going to play through them all, I was debating whether or not... Oh, this is just a trick. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I was kind of debating whether or not I was going to do uh, Mario Maker, like the story mode or whatever. Uh, and I, I, in the end, I just decided against it because it's really... That's not really so much its own game as much as it is a showcase of how you can use the tools. Oh, I should have used Frog Mario for this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the map and uh, pick Frog Mario. Cool. Oh my God, his his map sprite is so adorable. Um. But yeah, I I mean, it would be fun to do those games, but I feel like if I ever do, uh, I've kind of created Mario Mayhem with the intention of doing it every year and doing different groups of Mario games every year. Oh god, it's fucking- it's Big Bertha. Oh god, what? What? No! I don't want to lose the frog suit that easily. I barely got to use it. Okay, you know what? No, we're being- we're being- we're being casual boys right now. We're just gonna rewind that. I wouldn't- I wouldn't normally do that for this game, but I just want to- I just want to be the frog Mario, man. <sighs> Fine, you know what? Whatever. It wasn't meant to be, I guess. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I kind of I kind of did this event with the intention of doing it every May and just like every May doing like different groups of Mario games. So like one May I might do like you know like whatever it might be like RPGs or party games or uh, spinoffs, uh, and that would be the sort of time when I would do. Uh, Games like uh, Yoshi's Island and the new Super Mario Brothers games, and maybe even like the Mario Maker Story Mode, even though that doesn't really count as a game. It technically does because it is a story mode in a Mario game. But oh god! All right. Oh god! Don't eat me, please. <laughs> That's the bouncer. In... Oh my god! I remember that. That's the bouncer in the club in in the Mario movie. I was scratching my nose, so I, was, I wasn't pressing A to swim away. I should probably... Ugh. I should probably create a safe state right now. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing that, uh... That I skipped to, uh, this point in the game. Because as much as I love the rest of the game, I, it is taking me a, a fair bit to get through the, just this world. So... It would probably take a while to play through the rest of the game. I do want to go to the, uh, the 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 giant land though. Like that's like that's one of the more that's one of the most iconic Mario levels ever. So, ah, <laughs> oh, the odds weren't in my favor. It knew it knew what I was doing. All right. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> it's just a freaking it's a swarm. They're cute though. They, I I don't know, they remind me of something. Okay, I don't I don't wanna I just wanna get through this one. It's, it's kinda it's kinda weird that there's another fish just in its mouth. Uh those jellyfish remind me of something. Like, like another creature from something else that isn't Mario, but I can't put my finger on what it is. 
Oh god, this game has this game has slowdown too? For for when there's too many enemies on screen? I guess that's just like an NES thing. Like it can't it can only have so many things on screen at once, but even still it's it's if that was a thing, if it was a NES hardware issue, I'm surprised it carries over to the uh, to the Nintendo Switch versions. How how am I supposed to get through? Probably need like a fire flower or something. Water levels are really slow. Let's see if I have one. Cool. We'll use that from the beginning and just shoot every fish that gets in our way. Oh come on, don't make me lose it right away. <laughs> come on! Okay, come on, please, 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 please. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, please, please, just, please just get out of here. Please just scram. Mario can hold his breath for an incredibly long time. It's, it's, it's impressive. And also kind of concerning. Okay, so you can't kill these guys with fireballs. Please just let me get through this with the fire flower. It'll make my life way easier. <laughs> I'm just walking on the bottom of the ocean floor. Shit. I want I want that. God. I feel like, especially in water levels, it's hard to sort of react to stuff in order to save- Like that! Like, how the fuck was I supposed to, like- But it's just the fact that you move so slowly, so like, you might already be screwed and you just have to watch yourself die because you can't move fast enough to get out of the way. Shit. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna have to do that all again. There's no checkpoints, so. Alright. We're good. Okay. I wonder how much more of Giant Land we have to go. Or not, this isn't even Giant Land. I just have Giant Land on the mind because I want to go there. Uh. This isn't okay. No, this isn't a final castle, so I'll just use the the leaf. Ooh. Ooh. Neat. <laughs> Is this gonna be one of those ones where I have to find my way out? Oh shit! Ah. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. We're not, we're not doing that. We're gonna create a suspend point here. And we're gonna do it legit. Unless I decide that I'm fed up with it. But I don't, I, I hope that doesn't happen. Get some water. All right. I wonder if there's anything, like, I'm supposed to do in that room. Like, if there's, like, a hidden block or something. Is it even possible for me to get up there? Whoa! Okay, wait a second. <laughs> I don't wanna... Okay, it is possible. But this is not the way you're... You're supposed to come into this room this way. So... I guess there is something I'm supposed to do back here, then. Hmm. Maybe go the other direction? Hmm. This is odd. If I couldn't go into that pipe, then what am I supposed to do? Maybe there's like a secret in this somehow? I'm not, I'm honestly not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go from here. 
it's not... I, I have a feeling that these things are supposed to be, like, hints. Maybe I just need to get, like, the Tanuki suit from this. Oh, fire flower. Oh, maybe I need to light those torches that were in the other room. What the fuck? I'm already running out of time? I feel like I've barely been here for, like, two seconds. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I honestly don't... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Okay. Let's just... Let's load our suspend point. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Very secretly... Just look up... Super Mario Brothers 3... World... 7... Castle 1. <laughs> and just figure out... What in the goddamn hell is the goal? Maybe it's just... I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like... It's gotta be like... There's there gotta be like a hidden block somewhere. You know? Okay. Uh, I think... I didn't, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I think I have a general idea of what to do. So we're gonna do it. I should have probably given myself a power-up beforehand, because that would make this way easier. But this level provides one for me, so that's okay. So, that room full of blocks is, there's like a, there's like a hidden P switch. I think it's like right here. Okay. Oh, okay, so you just go in here. Is this just, is this it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! Tanuki? Huh. Interesting. Uh, and can I do the, uh, can I do the, uh, how do I do the, uh, how do I do the statue? Oh, okay, there we go. That is still a very bizarre power-up. Okay, wait a second. Now that I have this, am I supposed to, like... This is a very cryptic castle. Am I supposed to do something with it? Maybe if I get this P-switch again, there'll be another way to go? Oh god, I'm running out of time again. Oh, okay, yeah, there's another door. Wait, it just leads back to the same fucking place! What?! I don't know what to do. Oh god, okay. Pause the game. We need to know what to do before we try to do it. Oh, okay. I guess... The fact that they gave me the Tanuki suit should have made me figure this. But, you're supposed to, like, fly up here, I guess. Into the upper level of the, uh, the place. Maybe not. Maybe I just didn't finish watching the video and that guy tried it and it didn't do anything. But... <laughs> oh! There is a pipe! Okay. So I gotta, I gotta try to... Jeez, that is cryptic. Alright. Don't, don't, I got 50 seconds to kill this guy. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he can fly now. That's cool. Oh, I guess he can't fly anymore. And now he's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 37 seconds to spare. Ah, 
Okay. Give me something good. Whoop, up, uh. I was careless. I thought I could do it all at once. I still got those two, though. But it doesn't matter, because it doesn't give you anything. Alright, uh. Let's go ahead and create a suspend point. Oh, <laughs> very clever. There's there's a level like this that I really like in um, the first new Super Mario Brothers game. Uh, it's in the last world, and it's a volcano level. Uh, and it's one of those ones where the lava is rising the whole time, and you have to run away from it. Uh, but it also loops around. Uh, so you can, like, run off to the side and uh, sort of just... Oh, that's like that's how that works. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh but yeah, that level, the design of it is really cool because you're constantly on the move and like I don't know. There's a lot of levels like that in that game that are just designed about the fact that it's fun to move around in with Mario's updated moves in 2D. Uh and that game I really feel like takes advantage of that more than the other ones. Uh and also just like the levels are a little bit it feels a little bit weirder it feels almost like uh i don't really know how to describe it almost like a parody but not quite like it still feels like mario but it just even even by mario standards it just feels odd you know god the same piranha plant killed me and i fell from like the top of the level just load this because it's just better to have more lives if I'm going to start the level over anyway. Uh, yeah. I, I honestly, if I have more time, I, I kind of feel like... I did say I was skipping New Super Mario Brothers just because because of time and it's kind of a spin-off and not really a main game, but uh, I would still very much like to just stream it just for the hell of it uh, because I really love that game, the first one. The other games are good too but they're just not they're not as memorable to me and that might just be nostalgia talking but I, I i think most people would tend to agree with that because it the real the thing that became sort of the reason why people became uninterested is just because they kept making them it's like and it's like you could s all, sort of say the same thing about the original mario trilogy and mario world because they all came out within like a few years of each other like sometimes like one or two years apart i mean in the in the case of lost levels it was like a few months um but uh with new super mario brothers it's just like you know at least with the older games it felt like it was a new game every time with the exception of lost levels uh because that was like you know basically just more levels for mario one um but, you know, uh, New Super Mario Brothers, every game just sort of felt like... Every game felt like uh, Lost Levels sort of did. It just felt like instead of, like, making, like, you know, Mario 1 and then Lost Levels and then, like, 2 and 3, uh, they just made Lost Levels four times. Except it was, you know, it was easier by comparison. But, like, the point is, is that... Uh, Oh, I guess that's... Oh, that's odd. The point is, is that they didn't really change that much about the formula across games, and the fact that they released so many of them made it become stale really fast. So. I'm glad Nintendo seems to be sort of getting out of that. They haven't really made... I mean, they re-released Mario U on the, on the, the, uh, the Switch, but, you know, they haven't really made a new Mario side-scroller in a while, and I just... I just hope that if they ever do, because I'm sure they will at some point, but I just hope that if they go back to it, they treat it with the same sort of production value that they would give to a new 3D Mario, like Odyssey. Uh, and something that I've, 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 I've brought up myself and I've seen other people bring up a lot is uh, it, that they should do a 2D game 
with hand-drawn uh, sprites or hand-drawn uh, characters in the style of um, the like the original like Mario promotional art, uh, like not the original original, but like you know, just the 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 kind. I don't, I don't forget what the artist's name is that that was responsible for creating that style, uh, but just sort of the thing that a lot of promotional 2D Mario art looks like to have an entire game that looks like that would be really cool uh and it honestly surprises me that they haven't done that yet because i guess it's just easier to make new super mario brothers games uh that don't have too much visual flair to them something that's interesting though about the uh the uh, original new super mario brothers was uh they sort of reused assets from 64 ds so I'm pretty sure the Mario model in New Super Mario Brothers is the same model from 64 DS, just on its side, and you know, like they recreated, it. they remade like all the, uh, they ported over all the mini games and stuff. But I don't know. It's just it's interesting to think about like that's sort of what drove the style of that game, and then every game afterwards just kind of copied it. And something I thought it's not really related to the New Super Mario Brothers games themselves, but uh, to me, it was always weird that in the 3DS version of Mario Maker, which I feel like a lot of people just forgot existed, uh, in that game, they just sort of, uh, they, they tried to recreate New Super Mario Bros. U on the 3DS, because I guess, uh, they wanted, even though you couldn't, like, search for levels <laughs> for some reason, which is, like, takes away, like, the entire point of the game, uh, they wanted uh, Wii U levels to be playable on the 3DS, so they needed to recreate the style. But I, I was always confused why they didn't just recreate New Super Mario Bros. 2. Or, like, use that as the style instead of U. Because you could still probably transfer over some of the stuff. It's not like it's not like it had, like, you know, New Super Mario Bros. U on Mario Maker didn't have, like, the, the flying squirrel suit or whatever. So it's not like you would have to create too many new assets uh and it would look better because the mario u template on mario maker 3ds looks awful it, it's, it's really pixelated uh and it just it's not appealing at all to look at um uh, but they could have easily just made it mario mario new super mario brothers 2 for the 3ds and made that the theme uh and i i don't really understand why they i guess they just wanted it to be like the same i don't know it's it's hard for me to it's a hard decision for me to justify because every time i come up with a reason why they would do it i come up with another reason why it doesn't make any sense <laughs> like because like maybe they would have needed to create a new sprite for like propeller mario but that doesn't seem like it would be that difficult they already have like you know like if nothing else like you know if they're not going to commit to like the online portion of it like they did with the the original version, then just make it so that the Wii levels don't carry over. Like, I don't think anyone would be too torn up about it, because it's like, you can't search for them anyway, and you can't log into your existing account, uh, your existing Mario Maker profile from the 3DS. So it's not, it's not like very much would change if Wii U levels weren't playable. And I, I know I've been I've been rewinding a lot in this level, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of I, I, I really love this game, but I want to get I want to get to the end of it so that we can we can we can finish this off, and then I can go to Big Land or whatever it's called, uh, Giant Land, and then uh, we'll call it we'll call it a day for today. I am I am very glad, even though I wasn't feeling like I was going to skip a lot of levels in this game. I am glad that the warp whistle took me all the way to warp the world 7. Uh just because it would have taken up a lot longer and I feel like I kind of want to be able to uh finish the 2D games in one sitting because the 3D games are going to take a little longer. They're probably going to take at least two streams each because there isn't really warp zones. There's shortcuts and s s there's some sort of shortcuts in all of them, but it's never anything as much as these games had.
Okay, so... There's nine levels in this world, and then... They have a, another castle, and then they have the real boss. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess I'll get this then. Uh, okay. I always forget it's the B button to pick up the things. Because they, they there wasn't a Y button on the, uh, the NAS controller, but you use the X button to select your items on the menu screen, and there wasn't an X button on the NES either, so... I'm not really- I'm not really sure how the remapping of the controls works in this game. Can I just run to the end? Or do I- I have to find a secret exit, don't I? Shoot. I feel like... <laughs> a lot of Mario games have a level like this, and even- Even the- the games that te like, aren't necessarily as impressive as the others, I feel like all of- the Mario games at least have one level that you can look at and be like, oh yeah, that level was cool. You know, like, like, Mario 3D Land has, a, like, the Zelda level and, like, some of the levels where you, like, break into, like, a tower or something. The bosses in that game are really good. Uh, and then, like, you know, Mario U has the, um, Mario U has the, uh, the Van Gogh level. Uh, and, uh, trying to think for for Mar new super mario brothers 2 I, I don't remember there being a level like that i feel like there probably is but i feel like every mario game that i played has at least one level like even if the rest of the game doesn't seem that special to me i feel like they all have at least one level that i go oh yeah that, that that's cool and I, I just like replaying that specific level all right so i gotta god i really hope i don't run out of time keep trying to use Y because I'm just used to using Y to like run in the in the newer ones that's the that's the control scheme that I prefer and I don't think there's any way to remap it on uh, the switch oh no dead end oh shit this is not looking too good right now <sighs> all right you know what I'll just, I'll just not worry about it. I'm probably gonna run out of time. Oh, okay, here's a place I haven't been. Give me a mushroom. Thank you. Alright. It is always, it is always... It has, it has always caught my eye that there's like a little bit of glitchiness on the right side of the screen. Uh, and I don't know, I'd like to know eventually like what the cause of that is. Like if it's just because it's like generating the level a different way than the other games did. Uh, but I don't know. It's just always been like a weird little thing. <sighs> okay. The piranha plants are so hard to avoid in this game. I feel like every level with piranha plants just has like a shit ton of them. Like popping out of every pipe. And it's just, it's hard to time it right. Because if you if you time it right for one, then you're not going to time it right for the others. Okay. Oop. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, well, I didn't forget booze were in this game, but, you know, ghost houses didn't appear until... Mario World, so I just kind of, kind of slipped my mind that I would be encountering booze. So there's a, there's a piranha plant in the way, on the way to the, uh, to the actual castle. At least it, that's, that's what it looked like from the map, so I don't know whether I'm gonna have to, like, do something special to get rid of it, or, like, I need to be more patient. Uh, but I don't know if I need, I need to do something special to get rid of it, or, like, if it's just gonna disappear when I beat this level. Oh god, that is... That is a... That is a bit of a, a pickle I've gotten myself into. 
Because it's like... Oh, okay. That is rough. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them in this level. I think... I mentioned this in my Lost Levels playthrough. Oh god. Is this one of those? It's one of those, isn't it? God damn. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just repeating the obstacle again. Uh, but I think I said in my Mario, my Mario Lost Levels playthrough that it would be a weird world because, like, Mario, Mario Lost Levels, for all intents and purposes, is just an expansion pack for the original, but it's just new levels. Uh, but, you know, of course, they called it Mario 2, and then uh, this one's Mario 3. But it is weird to think that, like, if the, uh, if the, it hadn't been that way, like, if they just called, like, if they just called it in Japan from the start, like, if they called it, like, for super players or, like, the lost levels or whatever, because I, that, that would be the approach to marketing that game that would make more sense to me given how popular Mario is, like, it doesn't really make sense to market that as, like, the true sequel. Uh, but, that'd be weird, because then this game would be Mario 2. And I feel like this game... I feel like the NES, especially, feels like... Oh, okay, so yeah, I do have to do something special. I feel like the NES, especially, feels like it's, like, prone to, like, weird sequels. Because, you know, you have you have Mario Mario One, and then you have Lost Levels, and then you have Mario Three, which goes back to doing things like the like the first game, and then you have uh, Zelda with a Link to the Past. Well, I mean, you have Zelda One first, and then you have uh, Adventure of Link, which is like a completely different game. From the first game, it's like a it's like a side-scrolling sort of thing. I don't even really know how to describe that game. It's just like an it's you know it's a different type of adventure game. And then, right after that, you have a link to the past that goes back to doing things the way that the uh, the original did. Well, I guess in that case, my explanation makes more sense if you're referring to to Mario Brothers when you're doing you're talking about Mar the USA version of Mario Two and not the uh, the Lost Levels. Uh, because the Lost Levels is very much the same as the first game. But, you know, when you're thinking about it in terms of, like, uh, Mario 2 USA, you know, that game is very different than the original. And then Mario 3 just brought back everything that, uh, people were used to. Okay, okay. What's in here? That's neat. Okay. I love little levels like that. <laughs> Just, like, little challenges that make it seem like you're still, like, making your way through the world. Okay. Let's see if I can remember which one is the 20 coins this time. Oh, shit. God. Uh, I guess let's see where this goes now that it's unlocked. Maybe it'll go back to the beginning. And just to make traversal a little easier. Oh, there's another secret level. That's, that's kind of neat. Uh, so I think... I think it's kind of cool that in Mario Maker 2... Because I'm, 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 I'm still, like, thinking about, like, just the ways in which each of these retro Mario games just sort of evolved the series forward. Um, but they, um... Like, you know, each one, I feel like, had something that it added... And, like, that's sort of the reason why the new Super Mario Brothers games aren't as highly regarded. Because they are just mostly throwbacks instead of, like, their own thing. But, you know, this, you know, Mario 1 established how the series works. Mario 2 added, like, a bunch of iconic, uh, uh you know, they added in, uh, like, characteristics for each of the characters. And, uh, some of the more iconic enemies. Uh, and then Mario 3 added in, like, the map screen and some of the other power-ups and, 
uh, just kind of how traversing the world works. And then Mario World added in Yoshi, and it added, like, you know, like, you could replay older levels for the first time, which I feel like is, like, a huge thing. It's like, you know, obviously, when you're just figuring this stuff out and you're on an older system where, uh, I mean, I don't think you can save your game in Mario 3 either. Uh, you just use the warp whistle to get back to where you were, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that, like, now that you can save your game, it doesn't make sense that once you beat all the levels, you can't play the game anymore, you know? You want to be able to go back and... Oh, he's a piranha plant. The king is transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can bring him back. Okay. So... Uh... I just had, like, a brain fart. Oh, yeah. So, in the Game Boy Advance version of this game, one of the kings is transformed into a Yoshi. And I... It's always been, like... I, I don't think that that's in this game. I think in this game he's, like, a frog or something. But in the Game Boy version, they change it so that he turns into a Yoshi. Uh... Which is cool, but... It's, like, it does, like, you know, it's the thing where, like, you know, for someone like me that wasn't, like, aware of the, the changes at first, or, like, you know, knowing that Yoshi first appeared. They use, like, a Yoshi's Island sprite, too. Like, they use the sprite of Yoshi from Yoshi's Island and not Mario World. Uh, so just knowing that, you know, Mario World was his first appearance and that he looked diff- he looks like he does in Yoshi's Island, which came out after Mario World. Uh, it was just kind of like a thing I was a kid that I wondered about like, you know Was it always like that they just put that in to like tease it or whatever? But I'm, I'm fairly certain that when they remade the games they just went back and added that in it's like a it's like a George Lucas Star Wars special edition type deal where It wasn't a Yoshi originally, but they just changed it to a Yoshi so that it fit more in line with the the games that came after it uh, And in that case, it's not really that big of a deal and I don't really mind it that much it's just kind of an easter egg i guess you know i don't i don't think anyone is gonna play uh shit i don't think anyone's gonna play mario 3 uh <laughs> like the newer versions and be like no he's not supposed to be a yoshi they're ruining the continuity of mario it it, it matters more with star wars just because it's uh it's it's a story focused franchise whereas mario is more so focused on the gameplay so all right oh it's freaking uh ludwig and he already killed me okay oh i probably shouldn't have rewinded back to when he stunned me yeah i feel like this game even though it is a bummer to have to go back and like redo older stuff uh if you die if you get a game over well actually i think this this game, you know, you can't save your progress, but it still, like, just puts you back at the beginning of the world if you die. But you still have to beat it in one sitting if you want to, unless you want to use the warp whistle. But that's the thing, is that the warp whistle is a thing, and you can go really far with it. So, I don't know. I just feel like this game is more accessible than 1 and 2 in terms of, like, being player-friendly about... It's, le it's less punishing, I guess. It's more forgiving. Okay, let's go find out where that airship went. Actually, I should probably just... I didn't get anything from that uh, mushroom house, so I should probably just uh, start the fight over. Oh, that was easy. Huh. I didn't realize when I jumped... I thought for sure I was gonna kill him, or I was gonna die when I jumped on his shell, but... No, man. Alright, cool. We're already on to the last world of this game. And this has been a... Definitely been a quieter stream in terms of, uh... The chat. <laughs> um... And the, the viewership, but you know what? I'm still having a I'm still having a grand old time. I just I just like playing this game talking about it. Yo, I kidnapped the princess while you weren't running around. She's here in my castle if you dare to try to rescue her. 
King of the Koopa. Huh. He wrote ha 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 on his freaking letter. Huh. So I guess, you know, this one, the story is a little bit different than the other ones, but you still save Princess Peach at the end. And the same thing in Sunshine, you know? At first you're trying to clear your name, and then Princess Peach gets kidnapped like three levels into the game. Okay. <laughs> gotta be, gotta be careful. I remember these, jeez, it's hard to see because they're black and they blend in against the background. And I remember these levels being really hard. But I don't think World 8 has as many levels as uh, World 7, so it shouldn't take as long to beat it. Shit. Hmm. I remember uh, Brandon JLA, uh, formerly of uh, Rocket Jump, uh, he made a series, or not a series, but he made like two videos called First Person Mario, and uh, one of them is like a standard level, uh, but the second one is like storming the castle and everything, and most of it is just Mario hopping on the cannonballs, which is accurate to to the to the game but i it's still sort of nauseating to watch cuz it's just mario hopping on the cannonballs the whole time oh shit let's just let's just i just want to be more careful sorry if this is overly cheap <laughs> i don't i don't claim to be a master mario player I mean, I am, I am, I am decent at, th at these games. I just enjoy them, and I, I don't want to have to start over from the beginning a million times because these levels are really hard. I just want to get this game done. I want to go to Big Land, and then I, and then uh, Wednesday we can start Mario World, which I feel like is going to be one of my favorite playthroughs. This is already like I really like this game. I do think. Mario World comes slightly above it for me just because of that the 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 the, the joyous vibe I guess of it and uh, just you know like the graf the graphics are really colorful and the music I just love like the SNES uh, what's it called like sound font I guess uh, but yeah I'm just I'm looking forward to uh, returning to it it's in here. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to activate an item. I didn't realize that I had my item menu open. Now I'm gonna waste it all in this freaking. Okay, no, we're... This is, see, the rewind feature is especially great if you're just an idiot, like me, and just do stuff like that without realizing it. But what? I just, I heard a notification, but I don't... That's odd. Oh, hey! <laughs> Frederick Avila is following. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm going to... Okay. Yeah, that's weird. That didn't... It showed up in the... Uh... Okay, now it's showing. It was just a little delayed. I heard the sound, and then it showed up afterwards. But thank you for the follow, man. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and create another suspend point here. And now, oh, this is like a boat. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, I don't remember, because I beat, the first time I beat this game, I beat it on the Game Boy version. So I think the graphics are slightly altered. So I think in the Game Boy version, this is like a pool of lava. But I could, I could be wrong about that. I just don't really remember the water being that color. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Ian. <laughs> Uh, the chat's, I, I'm realizing now the chat is, uh, delayed a little bit from showing up on the screen. 
versus uh or maybe my widgets just aren't working no because they uh i don't know i feel like i just need to refresh a little bit um but ian if you're still if you're watching still uh you're gonna love this uh my uh my last mario 2 playthrough i don't know if you saw the end of it but my mic was muted the whole time so the whole the whole part of that game where i'm like beating the final boss and like uh I, i'm telling everyone like thanks for watching and like like i'm gonna start mario 3 soon so you can come back uh <laughs> it, i was muted so literally it's just I, I say I'm gonna take a break and then I come back and it's just me silently finishing the game and ending the stream without saying anything. <laughs> it was it was not it was not great, uh, but I, I realized immediately after, so I'm gonna be cautious about that uh, from now on. I thought for sure I had uh, I had unmuted myself, but I did not. So I'm gonna have to like edit that when I when I put it up on YouTube and just say like yeah I I don't I was saying stuff this whole time it's just it didn't get recorded so okay okay while this is I wanna I'm gonna rewind this oh that's a good freeze frame uh but I wanna pause this real quick because the chat is not showing up on screen. So I want to I want to try to fix that real quick. So just give me one second. Okay, uh, I don't really know why, uh, but the chat box is broken. <laughs> uh, 
so I guess I I don't want to I don't want to stall for too much longer. So, uh, I'm probably just gonna let it be the way it is. I guess. Uh, for now, because we're almost at the end of this game anyway, so I'll just finish this game and then I'll, I'll try to figure out what the problem is later. God, I don't know. I don't remember. Re okay, yeah, no, I did restart this level, didn't I? It is not an easy one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure why widgets are being a little bit weird. Um, oh god. Okay, you're 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 out of here. <laughs> oh wow I got through that no problem <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and create a suspend point here so I don't have to do that again because I, I got I got pretty I got pretty lucky usually you're I mean as far as I remember usually you're supposed to like fight someone at some point when you go through that path but I guess not Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was uh thought I was in the clear. You can sort of see the hitbox. Oh my god. This is just a death trap. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Uh you can sort of see the hitbox flickering. Uh, when Mario dies in certain places. This is a really fast one. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I do remember this game getting very hard towards the end. I got a fair few game overs in the Game Boy version, but even though there's not save states, there is, uh, you can just save your progress normally, so I don't think I had to redo anything too many times. Okay. Yeah, just... Oh, shit. Okay. No, we're not gonna... Didn't think I was gonna have to get killed by Boom Boom today. <laughs> Alright. I think this is like the end of the game. Oh god. Oh no. God, how long is this world? Is there, I remember the, the, the final part of it being like, you know. Oh, this is just a dark world? That's cool. I don't remember this. And it's like, out. it's outside, but they're playing the underground music. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. These games are pretty neat. Oh, the, and the, the, it was what I was saying about, uh, Mario 2, that, like, the, they, I mean, they didn't do it with the, the bo -bombs earlier, which is kind of confusing, but, uh, they did, um, they, they, you know, they're doing it with the bullet bills, so that's good. Oh, God. I keep thinking that it's gonna be the end of the level, just because everything is black. Oh god, I was gonna say like, are, are they gonna trap me here? Is this gonna be like a Mario Maker situation? Fuck. <laughs> that was really stupid. God, that is a hard, that is a difficult jump. Is this 
the end? Is this the end? Yeah, so there isn't really a difference, I guess, in the background when you get to the end in this one. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little neat. Alright. Oh, this is cool. Is this gonna be like... Okay, I wanna try this. Cause this looks like one of the sand quick things that would like lead to like a secret. Yeah, cool. That was one of the things that I liked about uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Oh, what? I only got like one row of coins. Okay, wait a second. No, we're gonna we're gonna. There we go. That's a little. That's I feel a little bit better now. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Whee! <laughs> There's a lot of momentum-based stuff in these last in these last couple levels. Oh, that's already it. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Hello, new viewers. The chat uh, the chat box is currently not working, and I don't know why. Uh, but we're gl I'm glad to have you here. Uh, okay, yeah. This is like. I'm pretty sure this is like near the end. Oh, it made like an it made like an error noise when it said game saved. It ma it made a noise like it like wasn't working. But maybe it's just because I like already made a save state or something that was like really similar. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't looking at the screen. So I just, I look back and I was freaking over the pit of lava. And I, I died there anyway, because it was just, it was just fate that it was going to happen. Okay. Oh, come on. I know I'm, I'm freaking rewinding a lot and I'm, I apologize for that. And I'm going to keep apologizing for that because I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> There was a mushroom right here the whole time. The whole purpose of that room was to give me a mushroom, and I already had one. Oh, I do remember this castle. I remember this castle being a pain in the ass. But... I don't think it's the last one, though. Can I... Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's how you get out of here. Oh, shit. How do I... Do I really need to let it hit me so I can get across? Okay, I'm just not gonna... That's, that's kind of dumb. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to uh, do that. Okay. What if this is the final level and I'm just being stupid? It doesn't seem like it would be. And I don't think it is. But I remember having a lot of trouble with this level when I played it. But I also didn't have uh, save states the first time I played it, so I probably had to restart like a million times. Whoa! <laughs> the diagonal one is gonna doofy. I wonder what the right way to go about doing this castle is. Like, what the right route is. I think I had to look it up when I played it first time yeah I'll take that it looks blue whoa okay whoa whoa okay okay no I've, I've already I've already I've already been here I got it sort of I think the idea of this level is that they want you to remember the layout of the castle like the two layers of the castle uh, but I'm not gonna remember because it's 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 not like there's too much in terms of visual detail, that's uh, that's here to help me along. Yeah, please get me to the end of where I need to be. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of time on this one <laughs> and not notice until it's too late. Oh, God. Oh, 
I mean, there's like this P-switch area over here that was blocked off that I can get to now. Oh, whoa, okay, let's see what's under here, I guess. Doesn't look like much unless this is this door is the end. Really? <laughs> oh my god. That's like some lost level stuff. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you would fall. Or you would run over it the first time. No. <laughs> Where's the way out though? Oh my god, that, that is a fast boo. Oh, so much for that. Alright. I think I'm gonna need to, uh... <laughs> consult some outside sources in order to figure out... Probably, I mean, I honestly probably need, like, a P-switch or something to, to make a door appear that's not there. But... I don't know what to... Okay. Let's go backwards, I guess. Can't go backwards. Okay. Let's pause and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Super Mario Brothers uh World 8 Castle 1. I don't think we've done any castles yet. We did a We did a uh what's it called? Like the fortress or whatever. But we have not done a castle in this world yet. Um. Okay. I think I know what to do. And I hope it's the right thing to do. Because... If it's not, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, no, it's there. So what, I, what I'm supposed to do is in this block, there's a P-switch. So I gotta hit that, I gotta hit that, and then there's gonna be a door. I gotta go through this one, I think. Oh God, it's freaking conveyor belt boom boom fight. <laughs> Oh, and I, just as I was running out of time, too. That's good. I like that I still keep moving with the conveyor belt after I can't control myself. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and save, just in case. Let's see where this one goes. Oh! Uh... Can't. Oh, okay. There we go. I hope that this uh, beating this level gives me the key that I need to get over there to the castle. But yeah, that's definitely the end of the game. You can tell because the castle is like super messed up looking and not like any of the other castles in the game. They sure do fire a lot of projectiles onto their own ship. Like, this is, like, where their troops have to, like, reside. And, like, instead of... Fi they don't fire too many things forward. They kind of fire on their own uh, military uh, supplies. Which is a little... It's a little, it's a little bit of a design flaw, if you ask me. <laughs> this would be such a weird like tank if it were like in real life like you could just lay it out and see it all together and it's just like a long strip of cannons shooting at their own ship oh, come on man come on man every time i think i'm in the clear another cannonball appears right where i'm standing Oh, 
Oh, this is already the end. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you can't let him move around too much. Or, or he gets excited. Cool. Alright, this is the end of the game, I think. Alright, so let's... Save the game. Yeah, the the save game sound effect sounds like it's like not right. Like it sounds like it's not really like. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it sounds like it's like it didn't work. Was there like a? Was there like a mushroom up there? Whoa! Okay. I guess not. I guess this is just the way to go. And it's prob- I mean, I'm guessing that door probably just takes you back to the beginning. If- if- if the previous doors taught me anything, it's that they don't- most of them don't go somewhere that's actually the way you're supposed to go. Oh, jeez. A lot of... Oh, Jesus. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, this is a... Uh, not exactly a... Soothing stroll. Is this the end? Is this already the end? It seems like it would be. But I don't know. Uh, I don't think it is. Oh, you know what? Actually, it probably is. Just because, uh... Bowser shooting his fire at you from the distance is a typical Mario tradition, I guess. Okay, we're here. <laughs> that was... Okay, Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> I appreciate that all three of the original uh, Mario Brothers games have, like, a different... Even Mario World 2 has, like... I mean, because Mario World is technically Mario 4 in uh, Japan. Um, but I appreciate that they all have, like, very different Bowser fights. Uh, and, like, you know, 2, obviously, you know, only... Ha it has Wart, which is... Oh, shit. Okay. Um, oh, get Is that it? Is that it? Did I just... Yay! <laughs> Yay! I love that you can still run around while he's, uh, while the, the victory theme is playing. Awesome. Mario 3! Oh, don't cry anymore. I'm tall now. It's all good. Oh my god, wait, that's her sprite from Mario 2! I never noticed that. It's literally the exact same sprite they used for her in Mario 2. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. Isn't this like a just kidding situation? Yeah, just kidding. It's not fucking funny! Haha, <laughs> bye bye? What the fuck? Is that it? Oh, okay, the... I thought it was just the title screen again, but the curtain was closing on the actual game. Yay! Mario 3 is in the bag! Oh man, I love that game. And I'm glad that I uh, I fixed the streaming setup so that I can hear the game. <laughs> because I couldn't hear the game in the last one. Oh, look at all the worlds that we didn't visit. We didn't visit Waterland. I want to go to Giant Land, though. We're going to go to Giant Land before this is over. Oh, that's a cool sprite. Mario swimming. I want to play at least Skyland. Like from Skylanders, the video game. <laughs> yeah, we're at least gonna do the first level in Giant Land before we, before we end this because uh, I've been wanting to go back to Giant Land. Pipe Land. Oh yeah, okay. That, that, we did play that level. <laughs> we did play that world. I mean, Dark Land. <laughs> Mario's definitely gonna get hit if he's if his current trajectory is anything to go off of. The end.
Yay! Another Mario is in the bag. Awesome. Thank you very much for, for watching if you've made it to this point. Uh, is this one of those situations where it's just you have to reset the game? Oh, no. Okay, you can just press start and go back to the title screen. That's cool. Okay. Uh, before we end this, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to take the, uh, the warp whistle. And we're going to go to uh, Giant Land. Oh, I need to get the warp whistle again. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... That was like... Oh, <laughs> I screwed it up. Okay. Giant Land is like... Out of every world that we didn't go to, that's the one I, I, I think is the most memorable. So, I want to make sure that we, uh, we at least get a glimpse of it in this playthrough. Because we skipped a lot of worlds. Uh, and luckily, we're already at a point where the warp whistle is fairly easy to get. Uh, so we can just go straight there. <laughs> I, I remember thinking this specific secret area was like the coolest thing ever when I was a kid. I remember being confused by the e-reader stuff in the Game Boy version because I never had the e-reader and wasn't really a thing after like its initial whatever, its initial run wasn't really utilized outside of some levels for this game. Alright, Warp Whistle. I don't know how you would ever find this. Like, I don't understand how the first person to find this out figured it out. They just, like, exhausted it. Must, they must have exhausted every possibility before discovering that crouching on that one specific block would be what takes you to um, the warp whistle layer. And even then, like, you know, they probably did that. And they're like, what do you do now? And then they had to do it again before they realized. All right, here we are. Where is level one? Is the question. Nope, not here. All right, <laughs> back back to square one. I probably could have just rewinded and saved some time, but I'm always holding the B button when I play these games because I, I never really walk in a Mario game. I always run. So that's why every time I go back to the map screen, it asks, it's like, ask. I guess that's another way to do it is the B button, but the X button works too. <laughs> oh man, I really, this level is really cool. And this is just, it's one of those things. It's like, you know, other Mario levels had, or other Mario games had giant levels, but this one did it first and it must have been like super... I mean, I remember be thinking this was super cool the first time I played it, and like, like you can freaking swim through the pipe water, and like all, all, they have like more detailed sprites since they're all bigger. It's just really cool. It's like this is a really cool idea for a level. All right, I just want to enjoy this while I'm here. Oh, that's a normal size piranha plant in a giant pipe. Oh, that's already it. <laughs> oh, but I got the, the the triple. I got the the, the hat trick or whatever. Sup? <laughs> Game Grumps already made that joke, but it's the first thing that came to my mind. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this stream. Uh, now that now that we've got that one giant land level out of my system, uh, I think we can finally uh, call it a day on uh, Mario Mayhem today. Uh, so, I will be back on, um, I'll be back on Wednesday, uh, for Super Mario World, uh, and I'm, I'm assuming that's probably all that I'm gonna do, because I, I don't really think that I could start 64 and beat it on the same day as Mario World like I could with the side-scrollers, um, but yeah, so, um, thank you very much for watching this, uh, Mario 3 playthrough, if you were here for Mario 2, 2, Thank you for watching that, uh, and hopefully I will see you again on Wednesday when we tackle uh, Mario World. Uh, so, okay, thanks again, and I will see you later.